Hello guys, this video will give you a brief introduction to how you can use 3D scanned models to be the basis of your sculpts. So George Orbler is a talented ZBrush artist and what he does is he takes 3D scan assets from 3D scan store and he goes ahead and makes a little sci-fi version of that. So all these models here you can find on 3D scan store. And you can see right here for example he changes a, a lot of things around. Uh, he gives a nice little helmet. Uh, prosthetic arm, gun, things like that. Here he's given a helmet, uh, added a sword. So a lot of times, guys, you don't want to spend the time working with, with model designer, all this and all that. You just want to go ahead and make some cool sci-fi asset, make a helmet, but you don't want to necessarily make the whole body. And that's why a 3D scan model can really come in handy. So 3D scan store has brought me with a nice little model to work with. Several models, actually, this nice little military pack. So what I'm going to do is give you a brief introduction I can use that. So you can import the OBJ file into ZBrush. What he would have done is import it into 3ds Max and I scaled it up. I've also just applied a quick slice modifier just because I want to give you a quick example of making like a little helmet or a little visor piece right here. So I've got this. I'm going to go ahead and export this into ZBrush as an OBJ. All right, in ZBrush, I went ahead and import that model. All right, and next we go into open up a texture map, click right here and import that texture map. And we've got this right here. If it doesn't show up properly, we need to go into UV map, open up uh, adjust right here, and then uh, flip V. This is how it was originally, and I flip V, and then it shows up just fine. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete other. All right. And I'm also going to go ahead and control shift D to make a copy of this. So I'm going to keep the original one just in case. But the reason for this is because I want to work with symmetry. It's always easier to do that. I'm going to go into geometry. I'm going to go into modified topology and then mirror and weld. So I just want to have something symmetrical right here. All right, guys. So here's the thing. If we're going to keep scoping this, we can go into Dynamesh. But when you turn on Dynamesh, you're going to notice two things. Number one, we lose a lot of density. And number two, we lose the texture. Here's what you need to do to keep the texture, guys. You need to convert the because when you when you like a data mesh the uv gets destroyed so you need to actually convert the texture map into a poly paint so what you do is you go into poly paint right here and you do poly paint from texture all right for your current brush make sure our mrgb mode is on all right there we go guys now it's been converted from the texture map to poly paint now when you activate dynamesh as you can see, it keeps the colors. Now, all we need to do is increase the resolution. Let's try a thousand. And as you can see, now it actually keeps the density and the texture. All right, there we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scope the nice little piece on top here. So. I'm not going to go too in deep, in depth into this. I'm just going to go ahead and model something similar. I'm just going to go ahead and model. Um, maybe a quick little uh, visor like this.
Alright guys, this is how you can use a 3D scanned character from 3D Scan Store to begin your sculpting and designing journey. You can build on top, you can replace various parts. So when you need a very good high quality mesh to begin your sculpt, this is a very good option. Be sure to check them out in the description. Thank you for watching and take care.